rate certified, most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We've been seeing a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of Central Texas. We've had a few outflow boundaries flying through our area uh, this afternoon, early this evening, and also with the heat of the day, the sun that's been activating some of these isolated thunderstorms. That's why they've been so hit and miss. Nothing in the Waco area, nothing down in Temple and Queen. The activity has been in Limpasas County as well as Coriel. We do have one severe thunderstorm warning still in effect now. This runs until 930 for Coriel. You can see the storm that's containing some very heavy rainfall. We've got some smaller hail with it now. It's beginning to weaken just a little bit and a lot of lightning just crossing a highway 84 as it pushes off to the north and to the east. But earlier, at least southwest of the Gatesville area, we've had reports of hail anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. So some rather large hail. Big updrafts from these thunderstorms and uh, again the thunderstorms are beginning to collapse right now because the sun has gone down and we're losing some of that energy. But once again, they were all firing up along a little outflow boundary. What I'm also watching another line of showers and thunderstorms moving out of West Texas and this has been the story for the last couple of nights. You'll notice they are all severe for the most part. We've got a squall line there with some very strong winds, winds over 60 miles per hour. That is the main threat, followed by hail about an inch to nickel size. That's all tracking to the south and east. Now, as it moves in this direction, though, it is weakening just a little bit, but you do the math, you take a look. Here's where we are. Here's where that storm is. It will be moving in our direction here overnight. It won't be quite as strong, but you're going to see a lot of lightning out there and hear some thunder very early in the morning. What time you ask? Let me show you here on our future cast. This is at midnight doing a pretty good job of picking up those showers and thunderstorms to our northwest. As I put this in motion, it continues to advance. It expands a little bit, but also it kind of weakens in intensity a little bit as well. This is at three o'clock in the morning. I'm expecting some heavy rainfall, some lightning, some thunder, some windy conditions up and down I-35. This is at three o'clock in the morning, so keep that in mind before you go to bed tonight. You might lose power, so uh, make sure you have another way of setting an alarm. Maybe set an alarm on your phone if you can, because if you have a regular bed alarm there, you might lose that, uh, lose that overnight with that uh, lightning coming through here. This is at five o'clock in the morning. Once again, heavy rainfall, a lot of lightning out there, gusty winds, and it continues to sag to the southeast. So by seven, we start to clear it out in the Waco, Temple, and Queen area, but it's still down toward parts of the Brazos Valley. As we go throughout the morning, though, a lot of that activity continues to race to the southeast. Mainly cloudy skies, a little sunshine, maybe a few uh, showers over toward, let's say, Limpasas, over toward Mills County. And then you'll notice we watch that uh, line continue its track down to the southeast here. And, and by the afternoon, we could try to pop up something with the heat of the day there in the unstable atmosphere. But generally speaking, I think tomorrow morning uh, would be the main activity that moves through our area. And you can see I'm running the clock here through the U.S. Thursday, Thursday, uh, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be climbing into the low to mid 80s, which is just a little bit below average, but dry conditions expected on Thursday. But tonight, just keep in mind before you go to bed, before you tuck the kids in, that it could get a little noisy or they could be running into your room here uh, by early in the morning. Uh, we've got that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Hamilton County, Mills County, down towards San Saba and Limpasas. That goes until 2 in the morning, but that whole line is going to be moving right on through Waco Temple and Queen between about 3 and 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So the forecast, mostly cloudy skies, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. They are on the way. 65 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, there's that chance in the morning. There'll be a slight chance in the afternoon, but again, there are better chances in the morning. Otherwise, partly sunny and around 82 degrees, the high temperature. As we look ahead, the Daniel Stark long range 10 day forecast. Dry weather then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we're kicking off a pretty quiet start to the Memorial Day weekend. There could be a little rain there on Monday around 86 degrees. Still wouldn't cancel any plans at the lakes, rivers, or if you're heading out to the swimming pool, hey, why not? But just keep an eye to the sky. Lightning is nothing to mess around with, that is for sure. Low temperatures will be in the low to middle 60s, and then down toward Bryan and College Station. 20% chance in the morning. Most of that activity begins to push out of here. We clear it out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look high and dry. Still good uh, barbecue weather on Monday with a slight chance there, and temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 
80s. But uh, just be aware, before you go to bed tonight, showers and thunderstorms are on the way. They're going to weaken as they move our way. But 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, don't be surprised. I'll <laughs> I mean, take it. Yeah. So flash, I know, I love to sleep. I'll take it, I love it. And we need that rain, so we'll get some rain. But it should be out here by 7, 8 tomorrow morning. Perfect. All right, thanks, Mike. Sure.